In this video, I'm going to be letting you guys know about some of the biggest updates in the Wii U modding scene that have recently come up. This will include the actual Roma custom firmware itself with splash screens, and Pretendo with a newly added game taken off of the private list and now everybody can play it. We have Blue Bear with its biggest update ever, and a brand new app that will help you manage your Pretendo account with ease. So let's get right into it. Starting off with the updates for Aroma with the latest version now being Aroma Beta 22. After having some issues with the previous releases since Aroma 17 on May 6th, Mashell has released a handful of new versions fixing a ton of bugs, including compatibility with Pretendo, the screen corruption when you boot your Wii U now is a little bit less, and there was also the update to add an option to unblock or block updates from the boot selector or update block warning screen, so that's a little bit different as well. One of the coolest updates in Aroma Beta 21, however, is the ability to add a custom splash screen on the boot of your Wii U. Basically, it will show you whichever picture you want before it loads into your Wii U, which is pretty cool. Just a more customizable aspect of it. And of course, I will be showing you how to do that, but before that, let's quickly update Aroma. It will give you a notification when you turn your Wii U on in the top left and you can just press plus and it'll take you to the aroma updater otherwise you can just head to your aroma updater app and you can do the same thing from there mashell made it really slick and easy to update your custom firmware without even having to take your sd card out which is fantastic along with your custom firmware you can also update your plugins as well including blue bear which had a really big update as well and to set up your very own Wii U splash screen, you can literally go onto Google and type in HD background, let's do Mario. Now this one is 2560, so maybe we can type in 1920 by 1080. But once you find one you like, this one is 1920 by 1080, that is the preferred size. Just save it, and this one's a JPEG, so maybe we can convert it. So we'll just save it. I'll go to Cloud Convert, which is a free software to convert images. Open it up, change it to a PNG, Download it, and there we go, minimize that. I'll delete the JPEG one, we don't want that. And then we're gonna rename this to Splash. Now on your Wii U's SD card, go into Wii U, Environment, Aroma, and now all you gotta do, as you can see, I already have one in there right now. Here, let me show you. It's beautiful. That's what loads onto my screen right now. <laughs> Exit that, I'll delete it. And then just grab your splash.png and place it inside. Yes. And it's literally that simple. Next time you boot up your Wii U, it will have that picture. It's pretty sweet. And now for Pretendo, the first update is that you can now edit your user settings on your Wii U. This will allow you to change your region, add your birthday, and even change your email or check if it's verified, which I think I forgot to mention in the Pretendo setup video I made, but you can verify your email to avoid getting that email verification prompt every time you load your Wii U. And I am finally changing my Mii's name from Steve to Scoop. <laughs> the second update for Pretendo is a big one. Minecraft Wii U Edition is now public. Previously, it was private and only able to access if you were a beta tester, which was $10 a month subscription. But now it's available to the public and now you can play Minecraft Wii U Edition with your friends again in private worlds or in mini games. Hey, Saucy is in, look at that. Due to safety concerns, due to the low security in Minecraft, public mini games are disabled, but the announcement says for the time being, so possibly in the future, this might change. <laughs> Burger takes the victory, you know. Can't beat Saucy. Yeah, we're gonna kick him. <laughs> Maybe soon I'll make a members only world where we can all play together. Keep an eye out in the exclusive chat in the Discord. Another really big update in the homebrew community on the Wii U is Blue Bear, which I did explain in my top 10 Wii U homebrew apps and plugins video, but basically you can connect any Bluetooth controller to your Wii U using this plugin. Here it is five days ago, after over a year, here's one of the biggest Blue Bear updates yet. And that includes Cooper. As you can see, there is a new companion app called Cooper, and this will help you test controller buttons and sticks using the built-in controller tester. And of course, you can update this in the Aroma Updater as well. And next up on the list is the brand new app, Wii U Account Swap. If you want to get it, you can just download it directly from the Homebrew App Store. This is a Homebrew app that allows you to manage your account.dat for each user. So basically, you can link or unlink a Nintendo Network ID or Pretendo Network ID to a user. Therefore, you can unlink your Nintendo Network ID and then link your Pretendo Network ID so that you don't lose anything that you have on 
your main user, which would include save data, which eliminates the need for using save me to transfer it. This does not, however, delete the Nintendo Network ID. It still stays on your console, but it unlinks it from the selected user. But there you go, guys. That is all the update announcements that I have for you. Again, if you're interested in seeing the top 10 Wii U apps and plugins, make sure to check that out. It's linked in the description. If I missed anything, please be sure to comment down below and let me know. Otherwise, thank you for watching. Stay funky and happy modding.